And here comes one of my favorites. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Jacksonville, Florida. Weighing in at 231 pounds. The arena's buzzing, social media's buzzing, a big fight feel and a main event level match. He has a big match ahead of him. Going to need a career-making performance here tonight. Gentlemen... It is prime time. And his opponent from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing in at 200 pounds, Cedric Alexander. Look, Cedric Alexander's had a lot of ups and downs in his career, but I admire the heck out of him for committing to a new career direction. Now, Alexander's held the cruiserweight title, tag team titles, but tonight, Cedric looks for even more success. Cedric Alexander, former cruiserweight champion, former Raw tag team champion. And listen, he's got a bright future. You're looking at a well-traveled superstar who has seen a lot in the ring. With experience comes confidence. There's nothing you can throw at this competitor that could phase him in the slightest. He'll be looking to utilize that wisdom in this matchup. But you know, Cedric Alexander has a singular focus here. He has proven himself to be an incredible athlete time and time again. The amount of fight in Alexander's heart might be at its pinnacle tonight. Yeah, Saxon, no shortage of fight in Cedric. He's had some of the highest highs and lowest lows, yet he still gives it more than 100% every time he's in the ring. He saw that one coming. Alexander's looking helpless to every attack. But Cedric's just one move from turning this around. And Cedric unable to put things together. Oh, oh God, man. Oh, chip-breaking uppercut. They're going to kick the features off their face. And will this be it? Clearly set again. This might be trouble for him. Double underhook suplex. And now the pressure's mounting on him. Yeah, but he's always one counter away from changing things. Oh, he retaliates. Great reaction from Cedric. Answer after answer for each other's offense here. Pulled right back in. Side slam. Ooh. Cedric Alexander's as quick and athletic as they come, but we all know that style has as much of a crash and burn result as it does an effective one. If Alexander's smart, he'll focus more on execution than flash to make sure he doesn't make any major mistakes. And we've seen Cedric become a bit more methodical as of late, focusing more on the execution of those high-risk moves. Cover! Two! Got it! No! Just a two! I didn't think we'd see a kick out there.
He's been placed in the corner now. Not where you want to be right now. Opponent perched on the top rope, and looks like they're about to join them. This could be a hazardous situation here. Has their opponent scooped up? Avalanche slam no. for the win. Two count. And he's got to be proud of himself after that victory. Wait oh, look who's here. Here comes the champ. Uh, we did not expect to see this. The champion making his way down to the ring and, and inside the ring. It's obvious after that performance, this superstar has caught the attention of the kingpin. What is the meaning of all this? I would love to find out. All about the gold. Look who it is. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall and is for the WWE World Tag Team Championship. On the way to the ring at a combined weight of 411 pounds, Cody and JD McDonough the Brotherhood. and their opponents at a combined weight of 478 pounds. The team of Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. So that's what it's all about, the tag team titles. Classic tag team action set to get underway. Anything we should know, Corey? Tag your partner, trust your partner, pin the other guys. That about cover it? Sounds good to me. Alabama slam! You have to be in peak physical condition to pull off a move with that much weight behind it. Alabama slam! <laughs> what impact! Right to the throat. Great move. Standing moonsault. And that is not supposed to look that easy, ladies and gentlemen. Not getting a two count at this point has to be frustrating. There's a tag. Oh, right to the body. 
Those two are in such a cohesive rhythm out there. It's like playing jazz, but using your opponent as the drum. Dropping the bow. Uh-oh. And Sami Zayn reverses it. He is doing whatever possible to torture the knee. And an elbow, too. He's tagging out. Underhook applied. Side effect. Goes into the pin. There's two. Just kicks out. Just barely, but it counts. Side Russian leg sweep. Oh, strong knee connects. Setting up. Front face lock applied up and their opponent driven down with the gore buster. It's not looking good for Owens. Owens is under the gun. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Oh, he knew what was coming. Owens finally creates some more offense for himself. Now the chance for Owens to get back in the match. Owens was scouted there. Flying forearm. And that might be enough to knock some confidence out of Kevin Owens. Underhook applied. Side effect. Oh, 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 sharp knee. These consecutive attacks have him reeling. Yeah, he's really being put to the test. Here's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Double big back body drop. Tandem offense in effect. A good team knows how to truly work as one. Nice Japanese arm drag. Oh my gosh. I don't stop anybody. Teed up. This is going to be bad. Drop kick. Going for a pin for the championship. Forces the shoulder up after two. So, so close. That could have been it. Standing Spanish flyer. Are you kidding me? Incredible. It only gets a one count. It's hard to believe, but it looks like he still has some gas left in the tank. Disaster and finds the neck breaker. Uh oh. Well scattered reversal there. Both superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. Vicious, downright savage club right there. And now the admittingly divisive Sami Zayn attempting to rally the WWE Universe behind him. I'm not sure if it's really worth the trouble, though, Sami. Sharp clothesline. Ireland's call. Oh, Ireland's call from McDonough. Look, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. These competitors despise each other. Think about how much things have escalated in this one. This is about so much more than a professional rivalry at this point, John. And here we go. 3D. This could put a stop to Zayn. Oh, with a championship on the line. Yeah, no, he doesn't get the three. I and mean, you got to think, he's just one final blow away from not kicking out next time. Has them hooked. He's already spending that winner's purse. That's got to be it. Two. Got it. And the tag titles change hands here tonight. And here's another quick look at those superstars in action in that tag team battle.
Here are your winners and the new WWE World Tag Team Champions, Cody and J.D. McDonough, the Brotherhood. This pairing paid strong dividends with an impressive tag team win. For my money, these two just might be the best tag team on the roster today. The following is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Cincinnati, Ohio, Allison Davis. Highly anticipated matchup. The competitors in this one have been waiting all day to get their hands on each other. She has been counting the weeks, the days, the minutes until this match, and she is now ready to compete. Tegan Knox looking ready for a fight. Yeah, she wants to show this crowd what she can do. And from the Welsh Valleys, Tegan Knox. This woman is the personification of resilience, has suffered multiple torn ACLs in both knees, yet still continues to give it her all in the ring. Yeah, and even shares a little knee brace fashion with none other than Stone Cold Steve Austin. I can tell Tegan is itching to start throwing some punches and kicks. Tegan Knox is someone to really admire. She's got that hunger, that drive that you really need in this business. She's always willing to put everything she has into this, and that really shines through in her matches. That drive of Knox could really serve her well here in this match. And she's standing across the way from a superstar who expects nothing less than perfection, or at least something close to it, from herself. Someone who refuses to rest on her laurels, refuses to be less than the best, and refuses to lose to anyone less than the best. Placed into the corner. Back elbow. Man. Running Bulldog. Can she score the pin? Kicks out of the pinfall attempt. Keeping a loss at bay for now. And oh, fiery Lariat. And Knox is really being knocked around here. Yeah, Knox is having trouble fighting back here. Rolling elbow right on the mark. Knox has to avoid that kind of offense if she wants to be in this match. You know, Tegan Knox is about as tough as they come, but everyone knows she's had her fair share of physical setbacks. It may not be nice or sportsmanlike, but the best option to enact when facing off against her is to pinpoint those troubled areas. You're right, Corey. That's not sportsmanlike. Right after the neck. Oh, that's got to sting your back. She manages to get control. What a shot. Oh, it. Looking for the suplex all the way up. Look at this power. Oh, no. From behind. Chop block. And what a burning lariat. 
off into the pin. She kicks out at one. She likely knew that wasn't enough. She's just keeping the pressure on. Now step up in Zagari. Tegan's hopes are waning. And she's working over those trouble areas on Tegan Knox. Sportsmanship be damned. She might be in some trouble now. They've definitely taken their lumps at this point. Their opponent is not messing around. Over and over. That was a showing of control and aggression. Something they'll want to keep up. Oh, man. Knox with a reversal. Knox reversing the momentum on her. If Knox was looking for an opportunity to pull a 180, that could be it. Neckbreaker. Using their boot. Boot right in the jaw. The disrespect can be tasted in their mouth. Clear that down. She's bringing scratching and clawing. This could be it. She kicks out with force. Somehow she's still in this matchup. It's unbelievable. <laughs> what a chop. Not done yet. Natural selection. Guys, we could be looking at the start of one of the all-time great sports centers. Wicked kick to the face. Can that finish Knox? Looking for the victory. There's two. Byron, you may not have expected it. None of us did. But pulled off the win tonight. How about the respect now being displayed by the loser in this match? <laughs> And complete disrespect by the winner. So much for mutual respect. The winner telling the loser to take a hike. I'm done with you. This is my ring. Yeah, now we're talking. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Panama City, Florida, weighing in at 230 pounds, the World Heavyweight Champion, Adam Cole! You can see exactly why the arena is full here tonight. This is a match with major stakes. The champ does not want anyone making their name at his expense. He plans on fighting hard tonight. WWE Universe, prepare to be shooshed. And his opponent, representing the Alpha Academy from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 202 pounds, Chad Gable! Chad Gable is a gold medalist who went to the next level as a member of the Alpha Academy.
Chad Gable always competes at the highest level, both mentally and physically. Oh, Saxton, stop sucking up. Gable will never uh, thank you. And the title is not on the line, but the champion looks as ready as ever. Now, I'm not going to lie. I had written this competitor off from pretty much jump. But their title win proved me wrong, and that's not something that happens often. Well, we all know it, Corey. Nonetheless, tonight is a huge test for this title holder. On the other side of the ring is a pure machine. Chad Gable considers it a show of wild disrespect for anyone to think they can hang with him from bell to bell. Proceed with caution, because Chad Gable's a puzzle that's tough to solve. He laces him up to prove he is unfazable inside that 20 by 20 ring. Boom, did you hear the impact? Kick after kick after kick, how humiliating. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Oh, strikes with the... Uh, saw it coming and fired back hard. Big forearm. Up and down. What a slam. Corey, what's the biggest mistake a WWE superstar could make when in the ring with Chad Gable? The worst thing they could do is overlook Gable. Gable may not be as big as other superstars, but he can tie you up in knots and tap you out quickly. You need to treat Gable like the threat he is. Quick thinking pays off. Beautiful gator roll. Great way to disorient your opponent. And security finds its mark. Oh! Puts a stop to Gable. Super kick! Good night. He's got the answer for that one. Quickly, the cover! And quick getting the arm up. I didn't think this match was close to over. Ooh, amazing agility. Agility like that, easier said than done, gentlemen. Yes, he didn't come here to watch him boast and taunt. He's certainly lining him up, but he's wasting too much time. And Zagiri finds its mark. Looking wobbly in the corner. Oh, strikes with the... Oh! Ah, look at this. Oh, shoulder, elbow, all affected with that. Super kick! in the corner. And Gable had it scouted. Oh, wrestling him down. Line. It's cinched in. This could be over. It's cinched in. I think we're just moments away from seeing a... We're going to free the arm and does just that. You can feel the table beginning to... And he's getting absolutely stopped in his tracks. Puts an end to that. Got him up. Uh-oh. Well-placed elbow to break up the maneuver. Answered with a shot right to the face. And Zagiri finds it. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Into the pay window. Two and a half in the waning moments of this match. Oh, face stop. No mercy being shown to Gable here. This is what I like to see. Approach. It's about that time, gentlemen. Uh, make your last shot count. Terrible position for Gable. Two. This champ has been a fighting champion. 
No doubt about that. And unfortunately for their potential challenger, their dreams just went up in smoke. Oh, wait a minute. What did you say about potential challenger? Look who's here. Standing face to face with the champion. And the champion reminding this superstar where the power lies.